everyone, welcome to this segment on good pushing technique. Having a good pushing technique can make all the difference in labour. There are a few components to effective pushing. Firstly, you need to allow your abdomen to relax so that the pressure you generate is directed downwards effectively. Many of us reflexively tighten our tummies when we strain. If you do this in labour or even in the toilet, the pressure you generate might be directed upwards instead. You can imagine that won't be very helpful in labour. Secondly, you need to relax your pelvic floor and push it down like you're trying to push out a hard stool. Some of you might be worried about losing control of your bowels in labour. Don't worry. One of the first things that happens when you go into labour is that you will start going to the toilet to pass motion more often due to the hormones released when you go into labour. This is the body's natural way of clearing your bowels. Even if an accident does happen, it will be cleaned away so quickly you won't notice it. Relaxing your pelvic floor is important as it allows the outlet where the baby is passing through to widen and protects your pelvic floor in the process. Last but not least, holding your breath helps effective building up of pressure to aid in your pushing effort. Let's practice how to relax and bulge the abdomen. Start by getting comfortable in a seated or reclined position with your back supported. Follow the steps shown here. It can take a bit of practicing to be able to bulge your abdomen on command as some of you might be feeling quite tight in the abdomen already. For effective pushing, allow your belly to bulge as you push with your contraction. This is how you do it. While holding your breath, push your belly out and hold it there. Practice this a few times. Let's practice pushing the perineum downwards. Begin by sitting comfortably without leaning back onto the chair. Now, try slouching, then sitting up a few times. Feel your perineum pressing against what you are sitting on. Let's all sit up straight now and hold your breath while you tighten your anus gently before relaxing and pushing it downwards like you're pushing out a hard stool. Now let's relax and breathe normally. We are only practicing the technique now, so please be gentle when you are practicing. You should be able to feel your perineum lift slightly as you tighten your anus gently, and when you relax and push down, you should feel your perineum getting closer to the surface you are sitting on. Let's watch the video for a demonstration in standing. For effective pushing, relax your pelvic floor and push your perineum down. While holding your breath, push down like you're pushing out a hard stool. To check if you're doing this correctly, place a hand over your anus. Practice this a few times. It is a good idea to practice the different components in the position you will have to labour in. At home, lean on some pillows so that you are supported at about 45 degrees. Then, practice holding your breath, bulging your abdomen and perineum in the position shown in the video. Remember to do this gently while you are practicing. When you are in labour, push with all your might. It is a good idea to practice for a one minute cycle. This is roughly how long your contractions will last in labour. In one minute, you should be able to perform five to six sustained pushes as you hold your breath. When you run out of air, breathe out quickly before you take a quick deep breath and start on your next push. This will help you to save time and get the most out of every contraction. 
Some of you will be using epidural during the delivery. This causes reduced strength and numbness. Practicing the pushing technique is important for a smooth delivery. Get into the correct position by using the buttons on the side panel to adjust a bit like this. Bend your knees and hold your legs like this. Practice holding your breath while you gently bulge your belly and perineum for practice. When in labour, remember these steps. Adjust the bit head to a height that you can push comfortably. This is usually about 45 degrees up. When you feel the contraction starting, that is your signal to start pushing. 9 out of 10 women will deliver with epidural. What do you do if you can't feel your contractions? The monitor will tell you when you are contracting. The last black line at the bottom that goes up and down like a roller coaster indicates your contractions. When you are told you can start to push, Get your partner to alert you when you are starting to contract, like where the red arrow is pointing, and push with all your might. There is no need to wait for the contraction to peak before you start to push.